Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. My name is Saiken and we are continuing to play the blind playthrough on unfair difficulty. Last time we have witnessed that we might be one of the heirs of uh, the Rogue uh, Trader Theodora and we've been ambushed I repetitively, path, I shall unexplored. say. And uh, now it is time for us to find out what we need to do. Given that we came from here, I assume we need to go somewhere down here. Uh, let's check the journal real quick. Uh, Theodora uh, Van Valencius desires to personally meet with you. Okay, cool. Um, find the Arch Militant. So, that we shall do. Shots everywhere. Alright, let's try to not get hit. Beneath my feet. Thank Providence, you are alive and well. Kunrad. Always on time, eh, Kunrad? The moment we finish chasing the riffraff around the deck, you show up. Always just after the fighting's done. You could set your chrono by it. Uh huh. Okay. Mort, hold yourself together. What? Did the Lord Captain send you to chivy us along? We're all done here. I'll report right away. Master of Whispers, what is happening on my ship? The Vox net is silent. The Vox Master is not responding. Armed assailants have stormed the officer's deck, and my arch militant just destroyed several more heretics on the way here. Is this a severe case of warped madness? Have some of my crew lost their minds and forgotten who they are and whom they serve? Report! I have not yet received word from the Engineerium regarding any Gellerfield failures. But communications were already unstable half an hour ago, and now they have ceased altogether. <clears throat> Whatever the cause may be, the consequences are spreading fast. I am receiving scattered reports from the middle decks, and the only Vox casts from the lower bays are one-way heretical gibberish. That the madmen have already reached the officer's deck suggests that this outrage was planned in advance. Perhaps this is an organized mutiny. Mutiny? But who would attempt a mutiny in here, in the war? Lunatics. Fools. Heretics. This ship houses thousands upon thousands of people. Pernicious thoughts and warp-induced delusions could have tainted any one of them. It is a difficult notion to accept, but such risks are inescapable. First, we have to confirm that the bridge and the navigator's sanctum are secure. And I have the means to do both things at once. Edelthrad. Where is he? I must know if he is unharmed. A psyker aboard a ship that is potentially being assailed by the warp could pose a greater threat to himself and others than a whole army of madmen with improvised weapons. I tried to locate him, but the last thing known about his movements is that he arrived on Transitional Deck 18. Blast it! Master of Whispers, find Edelthrad immediately. Seneschal, locate Tlas and the Sister of Battle. Both are to remain at my side. Arch Militant, with me. I must go to my study. And it appears we might encounter heretics along the way. If I may, Lord Captain. Transitional Deck 18 is at the heart of the disturbance. And if our goal is to bring Edelthrad back, I could use some support. After all, I'm not as adept at directly confronting enemies of the House as the esteemed Arch Militant. And taking into consideration Edelthrad's psycho powers. Well, wonderful. We got our first job. Then it's settled. Find Edelthrad and bring him here. In whatever state you find him. This elevator leads to restricted compartments such as my personal chambers and the bridge. Do not let me down. I require you both. Do you understand? Then move out! Mort! All right, she certainly does not take no for an answer in true Warhammer 40k fashion. 
Are you ready to head to 18? It is a long walk, and you do not even have proper gear. <laughs> I have a proposition since I'm the more important person here. You can go in front and shield me. Yeah. Oh, certainly. Lady Theodora would be devastated if she were to lose one of her precious heirs. But that is no longer relevant. With a pop and a sharp crackle, something hits you in the abdomen and you are consumed by an unbearable, gut wrenching pain. I promise you a special destiny. You're ready to fulfill it. So he was the traitor all along. Well, not very difficult to see. Um, he had kind of a snake-ish tone to him the entire time. And when he suggested that we are coming with him, I was like, what? That guy seems at least as strong as we are. Careful, careful. Be gentle with our guest. He has an important mission to complete during our visit to the Warren Chamber. And for that, I need him breathing. Oh, you are back with us, I see. What is the meaning of this? You must have hit your head harder than I thought. No matter. Very little is required of you. Just your blood. Which you can either share of your own volition, or I will spill it for you. Wonderful. We are in the anteroom of the Warren Chamber, this void ship's most hallowed vault. There, beyond those gates, lies the relic that gives Theodora all of her power. The sacred warrant of trade. Only one obstacle remains on my path to obtaining it. The gates of the chamber are guarded by the sentinel. An ancient device that will only open the door to a true heir of the dynasty. I expected to do this part myself, but never mind. You will offer your blood to the sentinel. Use of psychic powers. What is this inbred? Your blood is too thin for uh, the sentinel? On the contrary, the warp's blessing has raised me too much above your kind, Fon Valencius. The sentinel refused to submit to me, but you can help. After all, isn't that what family is for? I have no intention in helping you. I am afraid that you have no choice in the matter. Try to resist, and I will demonstrate the power that the warp holds over mortals. Come to think of it, I might even take some pleasure in doing so. I will do as you required, but I will find a way to make sure that you pay for this, you I filth. I doubt it, my dear. But that's enough talk. Fulfill your destiny. Uh, in the gateway arc, you see a co-creator, uh, a digital computer in the appearance of men with a human uh, likeness built into the front panel. As you approach the torso, twitch slightly. This is a servitor. And servitors are cybernetic drones created from a fusion of human flesh and robotic technology. Um, an obedient automation created from the lobotomized human being. The sentinel turns heads to you, one eye soaked, uh, lighting up with a two ember like skull. Examine the device. You look over the cogitator, but there is little chance for you that you will be able to discern anything of its design. <clears throat> Place your hand. A sentinel's jaw claps around your hand, puncturing your skin and sinking into your flesh. A few dark drops of uh, fall into the servitor's throat and immediately you hear a humming um, in the servitor's motor start up. Pumps stir into motion. The width screen of the cogi uh, cogitator flickers. Several long minutes pass. The sentinel's jaw remain closed and you are beginning to feel sick. Perhaps you were... Uh, to lean against the gate so you could catch your breath maybe even closer to your eyes and pretend of none of that has ever happened High levels of caustic humors. The subject is in a state of heightened stress 
Do you require assistance? Uh, yes. Yes, I do require assistance. Request accepted. Initiating defense protocol. <laughs> okay. All right, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> there is still another way. No way. Okay. Well, sure uh, turns out to have certain advantages to be a true heir. Intriguing. Let it be known that by will, by the true words of the document, I appoint this person to be the bearer of the warrant of trade and bestow upon them and the dynasty to be the paragon of humanity, unbroken by adversary, to walk bravely first into the darkness, to un reunite and claim the triumph of over nightmares, untold to hold boldly the reins of fate, to walk steadily. Escort the child of the house to safety. What madness is happening? Who are you? Temporary obnubilation <clears throat> following acute stress. Mobile unit of the Warren Sentinel standing by. Are you the Warren Sentinel? Mobile unit of the Warren Sentinel designed as a personal escort of the child of the house and a means of communicating with the rogue trader's subjects. Mobile unit standing by. I need a weapon. Distance from the current location to the nearest arsenal. Initiating situational calculations. The server scroll goes silent. Relays are clicking. After seconds pass, you realize that the server scroll will not answer. All right, let me away Middle from and here. Upper decks. Assuming the probability of safe placement in areas of concentration of armed units. Calculating. To prevent unauthorized units from breaching the warrant chamber. Preemptive sealing must be initiated. The mobile unit will start executing the received order immediately after the safety of the warrant is. All right. As the game unfolds, we do have a journal, and currently, no one must reach the warrant. Simple order of the sen Sentinel Cognitor. The world will bow. Old injury. An injury wasn't healed in time. It can be healed with medkit, but requires. Passing off a medic high skill test. Too many injuries um, result in, tra in traumas. Unseen. Uncover my path. Master! What? Whatever are you doing in the warren chamber? <clears throat> How did you. Throne preserve me! What is the meaning of this? Kugna Vojtivor is a traitor. When we parted ways in the office of the deck, he stunned me and somehow brought me here. What? He intended to take revenge on Theodora for something and trying to reach the warren and somehow part of the plan. Oh, holy god, Emperor. I presume he is the one responsible for the mutiny. Bandmaster. I wish to remind you that you are to refer to the Lord Captain as Lady Theodora. Uh, Vojtivor openly admitted uh, that he uh, that uh, he is the mastermind behind the mutiny. Saints blood! <clears throat> it is small wonder that the heretics are so well organized. I thought his order to seal the passages between decks was his attempt to stop the attackers from spreading to other levels. But now I see the real reason. It was to stop the enforcers from intervening. At least you are alive, and now safe, Master. Alas, I doubt we can afford to look for a compartment to sit out this disaster. Mm. You're in a bad way. I can treat your wounds. I have a Medicaid kit with me. And for the love of the throne, now is not a good time to be walking around the decks without means of self-defense. All right. While fighting, your character can lose some wounds. Your character can suffer injuries. When that happens, the character receives damage that exceeds 50% of his maximum wounds in one round. Uh, Medkits in order to heal it. All right. Uh, so we are the spearhead of the Imperium. Uh, I think. 
Okay, so he has a med kit. This wound will make a fine scar. Your aid was acknowledged. Fantastic. Well, there is a further in my soul. To equip new weapons, open the inventory. Alternatively, you can hold left mouse button and drag them in. Fair enough. You can switch between party members. Oh, wow. We got a nice little weapon here and some armor. Let's start with the armor. I reject the very idea. Uh, okay, Medikai, Field Medikai, or has the base skill Medikai. We aren't that bad, aren't we? We have 45 Medikai. Okay, well. That is a noticeable improvement. Now you're prepared for the trials ahead. The lower decks are teeming with heretics instigating the rabble to revolt. But that is the least of our problems. The ship's enforcers are rounding up the scoundrels and suppressing the resistance. The situation on the middle decks is much worse. All those strike teams have already been dispatched there. All communication with the bridge and the engineering bay was lost. So, apart from scattered voxcasts, we have no information to go on. Oh, that's not good. But that is not the worst of it. All these jolts and shaking are most alarming. These are signs that the navigator and the master helmsman are having difficulty translating the ship out of the warp and into real space. I fear that they may have already lost control. We must reach the navigator's sanctum and get a handle on the situation. All right, then lead the way. is calling her crew to battle which means the vox networks are set up for broadcast transmission not message exchange splendid while the rogue trader inspires proper resolve to fight in her subjects you and i shall prove that her trust in us is well deserved abelard seems like a nice guy oh wow Comment begins with a tactical phase, um, and we seem to be able to uh, place our characters. Uh, what is Albert's strengths? Uh, he was the one that, ha yeah, he seems to have a melee weapon, so might as well position him sort of here. 24 hit points, okay. And then we are over here. And maybe he is over here. That way, all of these guys... Who's acting first? Uh, that, that, that. Gotta get that little improvement in. Okay. So... That should do. Death to non-believers! Death to the weak! Out of my way! Good, your new companion is a warrior. Specializes in melee combat and drawing. Charge is a warrior's ability that works only when they are using a melee weapon and is uh, not considered an action. Charge the distance between you and the enemy, etc, etc. Alright, cool. Well, um, four starters, my dear friends. Uh, what is his special? Brace for impact. For one round, um, Indeed. Everybody gets deflection. I like that. Brace for impact. Doesn't cost anything. And then we can move all the way up to here. Follow my lead. And we got... Um, we got a nice AoE attack. This looks fantastic. <laughs> Until you realize that it does not. Well, I will do my duty. Okay, well that was I wasn't sure that charge actually uh, triggers attacks of opportunity. Apparently it does. So, 
good general idea, but we weren't able to hit anyone. Pain and duty go hand in hand. Good. To combat abilities of character of different dependency, their archetype available abilities are located at the bottom of the screen. Okay, fair enough. Good. So, uh, what do we have? We now do have a single shot. Uh, we do have a burst fire. Ooh. That isn't bad. Let's move to here. Descend upon the weak. That's fantastic. Well, it's not bad at all. This is, I think, the best that we can do. Lots of shots. Oh, wow. That weapon is awesome. All right, we're getting run and gun. And that's so much better than our scream at the moment. <clears throat> I will death shall <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Well, Sykens got the big guns now, baby. We're ready. Half of the heretics are dead. And we scored a critical hit. I like that. I will not stoop to this. Worse. Nice, Chaos they are <laughs> killing themselves. And Aldebrandt uh, seems okay and content with the situation. AoE strike, one. cleaves one to death. And that's it. Careful now. Oh, medkits are consumed. Yeah, that's not so good. Okay. Well, not gonna happen again. Moves to here. That way we have full cover against this guy. And 60%, 60%. Good hit. Uh, good hit. I need no guidance. Reloading. And Adabrand yes, is no standing Lord, nicely in the middle of all of them. It will be done. Reduced to dust. Fantastic. That. Oh, wow, okay. I like what I'm seeing. 11 hit points. 5 to 7. You know, Ravage and let's conquer. stay behind our front line. Purpose leads me. Psychic Shriek. I will try Go again. Nice! That worked very well. You can now advance in levels with your characters since you've gotten experience points. Almost a good fight, I would say. Uh, you, my dear, are going to take two mad kits. And I just learned that that's a bit of a problem to use then immediately. He does have 35 armor and one deflection. Deflection is the amount of damage uh, deducted whenever an enemy hits the character. That's not bad. We got 20. Uh, 45 dodge. He comes in at less dodge. Uh, 
we have pretty good dodge reduction. I like what I'm seeing. So, let's see. Um, so, Arbelard is a warrior. He comes from an imperial world. And he does have the navy officer background, which is fine. That was uh, the defensive frontliner. Uh, that's not bad. What do we have here? Reputation. Okay, that's potentially different uh, factions. And then biography. So dogmatic. Uh, believes in the holiness of the laws and the Imperium. Iconoclast. Uh, believe in the value of human life and freedom. And heretic. Devotion to the corruption and taint of the warp. Ooh. Okay, we're not playing a corrupted uh, playthrough. I can already uh, tell you that. It's a question of dogmatic versus ironclast. And he is more... Uh, iconoclast then he is dogmatic and uh, he gets a whenever he has master of command and above the thundering guns I don't know what that means and grim determination but it should be somewhere here right talents grim determination Ah, here. Okay, so Iconoclast, the desire to seek out a common ground, seems like a negotiation trait. And Dogmatic, believes in the holiness. Okay, I'm not 100% sure about that bi biography thing, but so far he does have a chainsaw weapon and deals 25% more critical damage with that. And just seems like an overall awesome guy. So, let's level up Warrior. And he does have a couple of available skills, apparently. So, Athleticism, which is the ability to reverse difficult terrain. That's not bad. Carouse is the toughness, which I think is fantastic. Um, he currently has 50 and higher carouse means he is less affected. So he should be a tank for us. Hence, I think giving him more um, of that would be good. Medikai isn't bad either. But for now, I would say we're just going to tank with him. Krauss seems fine. He can charge. And next level, until the warrior's next turn, all incoming damage is reduced by the toughness. And he gets toughness, bonus, temporary wounds. Okay, cool. Well, we got uh, our first update, ladies and gentlemen. That's not bad. Uh, we're going to go down the tanky route. For Saiken, what do we have as available uh, options? So we got Awareness, which we were particularly bad with. Um, that would give us a bit more of that. So if we were to go for that, uh, that'll be... Uh, I think we would come out at 35. Demolition, nah. We could... I, I'm wondering, I mean, we do have a Medikai skill, but then it doesn't really help us. And we got Lore Warp. Intelligent characteristics, knowledge of warp entities, and twisted physical manifestation. So that's a pure dialogue option. A high medical value assists in healing all injuries. Uh, it also increases the number of wounds restored by medkits. Okay. Well, listen. One guy needs to be the lore guy. And we already found out that he is not the Medikai uh, guy. Although Medikai, we do have 45, which isn't bad, I might say. So, might as well do lore. Plus 10. Seems okay. He's certainly not the aware uh, guy. 
So he's not the trap finder of the of the team. Which means we are now at lore warp 60. That's pretty damn good. In our next level, we're getting soldier immediately removes the wounded effect. Until the end of the combat, the soldier gains the following bonus. More ballistic skill, more critical damage, more critical hit chance becomes available after the soldier kills three enemies. Well, we did uh, do very well so far. I must say that's not bad. So we're level two and we do have a Psi rating of zero. Uh, psi rating determines your casting uh, qu uh, quality, which might also be an explanation why our scream hits like a wet noodle, whilst um, our weapon actually does quite well. So what do we have here? We got a few laser pistols um, and that uh, seem okay. And a sword. Can we just take all? Okay, cool. I wonder, uh, where's the pistol gone? And I also wonder, is dual wielding a thing? Maybe it is. Embrace true power. In a perfect world, I would uh, want to give him a shield or something. Okay, cool. So we're in the Navigator san uh, Sanctum. Uh, there is... The Navigator Sanctum is directly along the passageway. Oh, I pray to the God Emperor that... Is that Electus or what his name was? And so, he will enter the halls of the Blinded Guide and witness the radiance of the final dawn through the cracks and fall victim to a whim of fate. Master, watch your head. Idira, would it be too much to ask that you phrase your soothsayings plainly for once? That was too close. <laughs> Sorry, old man. The voices are so loud I can't even hear myself. They shriek, they sing, they... Oh, Abelard, how they sing! This is Idirat Lass, personal psyker and diviner of her ladyship Theodora von Falencius. Oh, a diviner, okay. Adira. <coughs> I'm not drunk, old man. I'm suffering the effects of the warp that is seeping through these walls. I see the ship's fate. To die in the waves of the Immaterium, fall under the burning rays of the final dawn. And in the roaring blaze, I see a figure standing. Who is it? I have no answer. What are you doing here? <laughs> the whispers called me. The ones I could make out among all the screams and screeches. Those who are rocking this boat hit us where it hurt. They went after the navigator, our guide through the warp. Other whispers called me to the engineerium, but it was too late. I heard the cry of our master Cog, and the silence that followed. What? You don't mean the engine say Prime is... Dead, without a doubt. <laughs> and the voices wail, heralding countless nightmares, cackling at each soul among the hundreds that are now joining the warp. The shriek from the Navigator's sanctum was louder than the rest. <laughs> and it's better that we saved the Navigator than some lever puller from a cooling module or a cook from the middle decks. That's Edelthrat. Oh, Emperor's Providence. The other air lives as well. Quickly, we must head to... Not so fast, old man. If we drown in the warp, Lady Theodora's heirs won't be any good to us. If Edelthrat's like me and hasn't yet surrendered his mind or body to the mercy of the warp, 
then he can still hold on a little longer without us. Blast it. You're right. First, we need to deal with what is happening here. All right, let's find the navigator. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Nothing is well about him. Can't you feel the chill crawling on your skin? The eyes watching you? The warp ice has already encased the bulkheads. What follows is calamity. <laughs> but we're not just going to stand here and take it, are we? The state of things in here suggests there's a navigator around. Maybe one who's crippled or at death's door, but still kicking. And since our skin hasn't peeled off our faces just yet, his third eye must be closed. At worst, it's a little roughed up. So what are we moping around for? Let's go protect that noble mutant while we're still alive. Right, for those who are unaware, a very powerful psyker is typically the navigator uh, to get in and out of the warp. And if you don't have that, you're basically lost in the warp. Which makes it even more dangerous. Protect the navigator. Let's seize the opportunity. Well, that looks like we're having a bit of a problem there. All right, let's go in and find out uh, what has what is happening here. All of you will bleed. Cool, we got Iridia. I have no idea what she does, but uh, let's put her here. We got myself. Uh, I'm putting myself in cover and we got Otterbrand who is uh, standing in cover here uh, that's maybe not the worst idea start everything in cover oh, pathetic. did the heretic uh, psyker just attack me out of out every of single one All right, Iridia's abilities. Iridia's a psyker and an operative. As an operative, she can study opponents and identify their weaknesses, and her psychic abilities allow her to deal damage. I like that. So we got strike for movement. We got lightning arc. Um, chains up to four targets within a uh, cell. Okay, we need to move up to here because I want a lightning arc. And then we do have forewarning. Psyker increases uh, the target's dodge chance until the end of combat. Okay, how about we're moving to here? What is this foreboding? Then, whilst we're at it, that is awesome. On it. What an unfortunate. Holy, that is a lot of damage. Then uh, she has Psychic Shriek as well, but hers deals somehow 7 to 16 and not like mine, 1 to 8. She's not a wet noodle. She is pretty damn good. Operative uh, targets one enemy within 10 cells. Uh, target immediately gains two exploit. Um, that is not my destiny. What? Was that you? Or there you go. Let's exploit uh, this guy, and but of course. we're giving ourselves a higher dodge chance. Oh, she looks like a really, really tough enemy. Hologram. You can use holograms to gauge the effectiveness of your identified actions in combat. Um. Click uh, the accessible cell. Uh, on the battlefield to place a character's hologram there. Select the ability in single shot. Okay. So let's just double check that. Uh, which means if I was to click here. And then... Oh, I see. I see how it is.
Okay, listen. Uh, I am going to stay in cover. Starting to hit the heret heretic. Ruin beckons. And this might be a kill. Of course, down to one hit point. <laughs> Alright, um... Interesting. Well, the other characters seem to be doing very, very well. It will be done. One new target. I'd rather not. Uh, okay, well, I think we're okay for for now. The enemy Psyker is still dealing some damage. We've now received a debuff. What does that do? Um, misfortune. Minus penalty to dodge. Well, that is okay from my end. If... Could do that. Okay, cool. So we're going into half cover. We'll do. Oh, okay. We can hit our own guys. Yeah, that's of course not that good. Um. No can do. I'm not so sure. Anything is. Not described. Good, we have no line of sight. Fair enough. Through chaos, I stride. Twenty percent, or we're just uh, screaming, which I think is the better approach. It's a good way of dealing with cover. Nice. Let's make it quick. Wow, good. Well, good job. The creature in the chair appears uh, as if he has become one with a throne. Uh, you see a pink parchment-like skin stretches between the seat and the limbs that have too many joints for a normal human being. The navigator um, is breathing heavily. The air whists and exits, uh, though the two dark guilt-like slits on his cheek. The creature's eyes are shut in two ordinary eyes as well as the third eye that sits in the center of the forehead. Interesting. I believe most of a spider still lives. Ah. Uh, well, the servants are dead. But the chamber, thank the Emperor, is still sealed from the warp. Well, we have a chance of leaving this place alive. <sighs> Wounded. Exhausted. Fighting back the endless horrors of the warp that are forcing their way into his head. Pick one. Your time is short. Uh, are you all right? Fall to your knees, mortals, and behold the final dawn. Uh, I take that as a no. Ah! It came from beyond. His body is not his. Its march thunders under the burden of hopes. I'll seal your hearts. And I will flood your souls with millions of words and meanings. Each one a portent of salvation within me. That is a demon for sure. Run. Flee from this place while I still have the strength. I can contain the intrusion, but not for long. We must begin the translation. Leave the warp. 
But it can't be done without the Master Helmsman's help. Uh, I want to help you. Oh, tell me how. The sanctum will be sealed. I will hold it off. Hold on. And wait for the signal from the Master Helmsman. Then I will commence the translation. So, run. Run. Who torments you? Kneel before the ascent of a new champion. When the rite is complete, this shell will burst, and thousands of Moors will accept the sacrifice offered to the edge of daybreak by the bringer of twilight, the one marked by the will of the gods. All right, the navigator is still alive. What are we doing now? The ship can only begin the translation with the assistance of the master helmsman. If he is still alive, it is worth a try. We must get to the bridge, but we will need support. Our only option is to fight our way to the officer's deck and join forces with Edelthrad and his people. I believe we will also find Lady Theodora there. She must have heard the call to arms that the servo skull relayed to us earlier. All right. Pespaidas, good luck, and thank you. Well, 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 it's indeed looking very grim. Dark grim, indeed. We're going to continue here the next time uh, when we are trying to do better. we gotten ourselves a couple of trophies. A nice little psychic staff with lightning arc. I like that. Let's see, what do we have? Um, our character could use that psychic staff. Uh, lightning arc seems good. And the staff itself gives five willpower, which brings us 250 willpower, potentially. Then we got a scrappy auto gun. Ours is better. And we got a primitive axe. I think it's clear that his chain sword is better than that. Wow, she certainly has a good staff as well. And she does have a laser pistol just in case. Might give her that just for good measure in case she ever fights in melee and that's all we got perfect cool thanks a lot for watching guys if you enjoy rogue trader then now is the best time to like and comment down below and uh, see you for the emperor in the next uh, series take care and bye bye